While a water shortage emergency declared for the first time ever in Southern California starting June 1st, outdoor watering will be restricted to one day a week. Christina Viscucci with our LA station explains just how many people will now have to cut down on their water use. Yes, Nicole, six million residents living in Southern California will be impacted by the most severe water restrictions that the area has ever seen. And the Metropolitan Water District earlier today saying it is important to do this in order to rise to the moment. At the height of drought in 2015, SoCal was asked to reduce water by 25%. Today, the ask is 35%. The Metropolitan Water District says by June 1st, water suppliers must enforce that either residents only water their lawns once per week or allow residents to use the equivalent of 80 gallons of water a day per resident. Currently, the average Southern Californian uses 125 gallons of water a day. Water agencies will face penalties of $2,000 per acre foot used above the allocation. The big question now, will water agencies pass that fee or part of it to customers? We have reached out to find out. Now, the restrictions don't cover all of Southern California, but they apply to areas that depend on the water from the state water project that you see here. It is a huge swath of people in the Los Angeles area and beyond. And if people don't comply with the outdoor watering rules, in addition to the fines, MWD could impose further restrictions. This is a crisis unlike anything that we've seen before. We really only have a little more than half of the water that we need to be able to make it through the summertime and into the end of the year under normal demands. And that's why normal will not work. If we don't see the cutbacks or conditions do not get better, Metropolitan Board has given me the authority to ban all watering as soon as September 1st. And now we need to prioritize between watering our lawns or having water for our children and grandchildren and livelihood and health. The water district says it's going to closely monitor water use daily on a real time basis and then assess how their plan of attack can change in the coming weeks and months. I'm Christina Pascucci reporting. Nicole, I'll send it back to you. All right, Christina, thank you for that. Well, Los Angeles County, thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.